Hello and welcome to Zero Escape Zero Time Dilemma, where last time we played through our first escape room of the game in episode 4, which was this fragment, uh, I think it was the bio lab where we had to cut open a pig, it was not fun, oh, I mean the escape room was fun, but the actual cutting open the pig, mm -mm. nope, did, did not need to do that. Um, so now, I, I still haven't fully committed on how I'm going to make my way through all of these freaking fragments, but what I'm tentatively planning on doing is just kind of going one team at a time, like alternating between CQD, CQD, that kind of thing. So since we did a Q team last time, and also since C team's kind of dead, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go to D team now. And which one do we want to pick today? I don't really have a method for how I wanna for how I wanna go about doing these things. Um, kind of feeling this one though. You know, this this. I mean, the thing is, there's there's no way for me to judge what these things are gonna look like before I actually do them. Because it's just, this, there's no information. The only information we have to go on is based on the thumbnails. Um, and out of all of them, it looks like Phi is, has the most screen time based purely on the thumbnails um, in this one. So, you know, if, if I have to pick one of these two characters that I want to hear talk about anything, it'd be Phi. Because she's clearly the most, she's clearly the most competent and intelligent out of this, excuse me, out of this group. As, as, as was the case for the last game. So, also looks like this one has a bit more to it than the other one, so let's just jump in here and see what awaits us in this fragment. Oh, Outbreak. Lovely. What a lovely name to start up our adventures. So the question is, is this going to be another escape room, or are we just going to have more dialogue? Are these things robots? Yeah. Are they real? I doubt they're model toys. Hello? Well, he's not very friendly. It's probably just out of power. Still, why would these things be in this room? Looking around, I'd say they were being made here. Made? Yeah. Zero's probably manufacturing them. It does say this room is manufacturing on the map. Um, Sigma, why did you get quiet all of a sudden? Oh, no reason. Damn, it's locked. Guess we're trapped in here. Again? Again? Diana, what time is it? Here's my question. Oh, fire crash fire. Okay, here's my question. Um... How do they get to these escape rooms? Do they just do they just get knocked out and then Zero places them in a random escape room? Because then I just I just don't know I don't even know what's going on anymore. Because the the premise of the first game, as far as the characters were concerned, was like, hey, let's play a game, solve some escape room puzzles, and escape. Uh, same thing with this for the second game. There doesn't seem to be a point to this one, so I don't really know the logistics of what's actually going on here. It's eighteen ten. There's no use wasting time in a place like this. Let's just find some way out of here. Okay, let's go. Now this is what we're talking about. Actually solving puzzles in escape rooms. Okay. So, um... I see some pieces of paper. What's this? Note 3. Alex, Betty, Charlie. Okay, so uh, there's two other notes then. So we got this one here. Note 2. White, red, blue. Okay. Are there, is there is there a number one note somewhere? There's a piece of paper on the table, but are there any more on the floor? It does not appear that way. Okay, I saw something sparkling somewhere. You saw that, right? You saw something sparkling? I could have sworn. Aha! Right here. Uh, is this a, a lath? A machine tool for drilling holes in metal. Oh, there's something here. We got a screwdriver head. Okay. Uh, I think, I think that's the only place I saw sparkling things at, but I do see something here. This is wire cutters. Okay, good to know. Uh, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the other note we gotta look for is here somewhere. Uh, it says cut Charlie. Okay, blueprint. Oh, we got blueprints now. Blueprints two, three. I'll, I'll, I'll read them all after we, well, after we collect them all. Oh, never mind. This is note one. From the far left, four right, one left, two left, four right, three left, boot up. Okay, uh, computer instructions, I don't know. 
Blueprint one, cut Betty. Blueprint two, cut Charlie. Blueprint three, as I don't know what to make of this. All right, and this is a stun gun. Lovely thing to find, and this is a screwdriver grip. I'm okay. So uh, let's combine this with the do just double click. Oh, drag the item to combine with to the center. What? Oh wait, no, we, that's not the that's not the screwdriver. I don't know why I thought I, I don't know why. I, I think I, I think I saw two red objects and I associated them together in my head. No, I was I was trying to combine the screwdriver head with the screwdriver um, grip, but I, I don't know what. Anyway, okay. So do we need to? <laughs> do we unironically need to give the robots a controlled shock, courtesy of the? Uh, oh, I didn't switch the uh, I didn't switch the profiles to to the to the thing. There we go. Okay, I've, I, I I had to rebind my. Uh, because my mouse has uh, side buttons that I can use for any anything I want. I, ca I can completely customize them, and I can have different profiles for each game. I, I had to rebind the cut the profiles for Zero Escape so that I can actually still switch between them with the side buttons. Anyway, so what I was thinking: Do we actually need to? Do we unironically need to administer a control shock to these robots to wake them up? Uh, oh wait, no. We need. We, we probably need to use it on the uh, on these things, right? It's a high bolt contact contact is there a way to run electricity through rabbit using the stun gun? Well, I never thought of that. Who knows if it'll work? Let's give it a shot. Oh, we have to do it in a certain order. Uh well wait, one of the notes can we access No. Uh how do we menu? Uh does memo show us? No? Okay. Uh file. I am used to it saying archive. Okay, so uh note one. From the far left, four right. Okay, so okay, so this this yeah, so th this is what I thought. It's it's directions as to, as to what. Okay, so uh, you go four to the right, uh, then you go one left, two left, four right, three left, and then boot up. Okay, so is the one two three four five six? How many are there? how many are there here? One two three. Okay, so so we we start here. That's the first one, and then f from there we go four to the right. So one two three four. That's the second one. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I opened up memo again. Okay. File. Note one. Uh, okay, so well, let's memorize this right now. One left, two left, one left, left, right, left, one, two, four, three. One, two, four, three, left, left, right, left. Okay. So, uh, f so then from there, it's, it's, we go here, and then we go, uh, two over, like so, and go all the way over here, and then touch this was the last one. Is that the correct order? Yes, it is. All right. There we go. I think this will work. It looks like the robots are powering up. We, we unironically, we unironically needed to administer a controlled shock. Also, these are the most realistically animated things in this entire game so far. Okay, can we talk to you now? Hey, hey, Betty. Uh, oh, it's Betty. I see. Nice to meet you all. Hooray. What's up with this one? Strange and super hyper. No, no, no. Anger, put down. Set timer to zero seconds, please. I think it's angry. Set timer to zero seconds. What does it mean? I don't know. Okay, so are, are, are these guys going to be... Um, what were they called? Charlie and something else? No, that's not that. Yeah, Charlie and Alex. Okay, so you're gonna be Charlie, I'm guessing. Yep, my name is Charlie Mills. Thanks once. Listen up. Well, Flynn, the nice make it so human. His tone of voice could use some work. Okay, and then you. I am Alex. What's wrong with it? Is it broken? Maybe it's simply an older model. All right, we got we got Alex, we got Betty, and we got Charlie. Great. Okay. Um, they don't. The, 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 you're not giving me any useful information here, buddy. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna keep looking around the rest of the room. What is this? Something written on it. Contact between the red and blue balls will result in an immediate powerful explosion. Set the timer with the button above. I think this is. A, oh, set the timer. Okay, so that's um, that's going to what they told us. So, oh, I see. Wait, is this a bomb? It explodes just when the red and blue balls touching. We better keep our distance. Okay. Uh. So it uh, it said don't touch the. It says, don't touch the red and blue buttons. Can we touch the gray button? It says start. What will this button activate? It must be the button to start the bomb timer. Make sure you don't touch this one. Great. Uh, good to know. Okay. Um, I mean, the button sets the time. Oh, okay, we can't. Okay. I was trying to, because I, I know we can't touch blue or red, but we should be able to hit this button. And it wasn't actually, let, let me hit it, but there we go. Betty set, set time to zero seconds. Yeah, why not? Wait, are we actually doing what it said? Zero could be controlling him. We don't have any other clues. Yeah, but we don't know what will happen. Two, I'm going to set it to zero seconds. There we go. That's what I was trying to do, but the game's like, nah, he don't want to do that. Okay, new thing has 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 come up out of the ground. Great, good to know. 
The, the, the detonation box. Betty has activated the timer inside the box just now. The ignition signal will transmit in five minutes. Five minutes? I knew it. We ne we should have never listened to that robot. It can be disarmed if you choose. You only have to cut the correct wires inside. And that is based on the information which we have from the file screen, which I can't open right now. So we only have to cut the, 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 cut the correct wires in the detonation box. Does that mean there's a blueprint around here? Let's hurry. There's no time. Yeah, I mean, we have the blueprints in our thing. Thanks for making that super obvious game. Okay, so uh, this one... So it tells us to cut Betty, this one tells us to cut Charlie, and this one just doesn't show us anything. Okay, uh, so, based on that, I guess we'll go, or maybe it's meant to match a certain, certain shape, so let's, so that's a pulley type thing, the first one, like a safe looking thing. So, can we look, can we just look at this, and like look around all sides? No, we cannot look around at all sides, okay, great. Uh, hmm. Okay, so can we interact with this at all? The detonation box. We only have to disarm this thing, right? Yeah, we gotta cut the wire and take the cover off. There's a red wire and a blue one. I'm guessing we shouldn't cut one of them. I know, then which one do we cut? Can we... Let's cut the wire first. We have to do it sooner or later. Okay. So, based on the information we have available to us, we have blueprint one says cut Betty. Blueprint 2 says cut Charlie. So the problem here is that it's telling me to cut two at once. Like, I get that we have to associate white, red, blue, so then that would make Charlie blue, and then that would make Betty red. But those are our two options. That doesn't help us at all. Uh, in terms of what we actually have to do. Unless, we're, unless we are actually supposed to cut both. I guess we could try that, because if it's telling us to cut both of them, um, then I guess we can try. I'm gonna cut the red wire. Is that okay? No objections here? Do it. Nothing's happening? So then we got it right. The robot did say cut the right wire. If nothing happens, that means we got the right one. Wouldn't it? Thank goodness. Oh, let's take off the screws now. Okay. Great. We, yes, we disarmed it. Now we just need to remove the screws in the corners. That was surprisingly easy. It, we did it. Apparently. Okay, the cover's off. So the blueprints and notes were clues to disarming this. I don't know if I'd say that much. I mean, they, they, they told us to cut two separate wires, and so I just cut one and then, okay. Oh look, there's still something inside the donation box. All right, we better keep disarming quickly. Oh, uh, is that thing staring at me? It's an old model, maybe it feels an affinity. Please take this. Your hand. What does he have in his hand, is that a note? Alex's note. Cut Betty. That, that's what we did. We, we, we already, I mean, we already cut, according to, no, hold on, wait, according to this, we cut the red wire, so, thanks for your help, pal, you, you did nothing to assist us, okay. Uh, I don't even want to know what this is gonna, what, what we have to do with that. Where's the, okay, the thing's over here. The box isn't completely disarmed yet, we need to check inside, it's not a fuse this time, it, it's hammers and a pendulum? Do we just unscrew the screws? The screw is on the other side of the glass plate, we'll have to take the screws in the front of the, off, Screws on the front off first, then, so we have to take these off. Okay. Um. What's. What's the goal here exactly? Like, if I take this off, what happens? I. Okay, that didn't. What, what are we trying to. Pre what are we trying to prevent from happening here? Are we just. I'm. Can we, can we just. Can we literally just take them off? I get a feeling we shouldn't let the hammers touch the pendulum. Okay, that's an odd objective, but sure. So, okay, so if that's the case, then we just need to... So we need we need to get all the hammers to hit a stopping point. So this has to swing there to, to, to stop that. Uh, and then we can swing this down here, so that that stops there. And now we can safely unscrew that, because that's not going to stop anything anymore. Uh, since you don't have any more momentum, you shouldn't swing, right? Yeah, that's not going to swing there. Uh... This will unleash that, that stops there, and that stops there, okay. That works, so now we can unscrew all these? Great. We done diddly did it, everybody. Completed, okay. Th they, they didn't make the objective clear, but once I knew what the objective was, they made that really easy to solve. Ah, good, the triggers around the pendulum are off now. Uh, there's still something inside this box? What, damn, we don't, we don't get a break. How many, how much time do we have left? Oh! I love lamp, I drink your milkshake? Um... I am Spartacus. Okay, you're the kooky robot then. Uh huh. What in the world is wrong with this thing? When did it move there? We don't have the time for this right now. We have to disarm the box first. This robot 
This robot's gone a little bit insane. All right, uh, stop the timer. Ah ha ha ha! Wibbly wobbly timey. Wa Do I? Wibbly wobbly timey. Wa I. I'm just. I'm just go over to the box. Okay. Well, it seems like we haven't completed disarmed yet. Another red or blue choice. Again, what do we do? Uh, well, uh, if we, so if we cut the red one last time and the thing told us to cut the, actually, is it, is it, is that the thing? Is it like, do we have to do it in order? Cause wait, where's the, where are the notes? No, wait, not that one. Uh, blueprint one says cut Betty first, then cut Charlie. Okay. So, according to the note, uh, red, blue, okay, so, the, the, the order we got the notes in was, was Betty, Charlie, Betty, which would be red, blue, red, so is there gonna be a third set of wires after this? Because if so, then we should cut the blue wire now, right? Nothing's happening? Looks like that was the correct choice. Now we only have to take off the, so if I picked the wrong one, we've just blown up immediately, and that would've been game over, that would've been awful. So just unscrew, we disarmed the fuse, now we only have to remove the screws, okay, that's what I was doing. Great, we did it. Completed. Yes, it's off. The blueprints and notes with the clues to disarm this. And yes, as I predicted. Oh, oh, what do you? No, no. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Here's Johnny. I'm the. Are you just the? Are you just the pop culture robot? Were you sent to this planet to be a, a perpetual source of pop culture references? Who's also slowly trying to blow us up by meandering over toward the detonation switch? Uh, hey, that thing moved again. Doesn't look like that robot's gonna do something. We have to focus. No, 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 no. It, it's gonna blow you all up if you don't stop it right now. Okay, fine. I'm guessing. As I predicted, there was gonna be a third thing we had to do. So now we'll cut the cut the red wire. Is this really the right one? If I'm right, then the red wire should. Here I go. Okay, we did it. I think. Well, that was close. Oh, the door opened. Oh, okay. Oh, we. Oh, we did it. Oh. Um, did we solve anything there? Hold on. I don't think we actually solved anything there. I'm pretty sure the game did all that for me. But, but okay, let, let, let's review. So, we picked up some notes, some screw, some screwdriver things, picked up a wire cutter. Uh, we, we were given a sheet that told us the exact order to, to do the things in. We were given cheese and told us the exact order to cut the wires in. I don't think we actually figured anything out there. I think the game just did all that for me. <sighs> Seems like it went all right. Let's go. We've been in this creepy room long enough. Really? I don't think we've been there all that long. Like maybe 10 minutes maximum. It really doesn't feel like we were in that room for all that long. Where's Gab? I don't see him. Oh, stupid dog. Maybe he went off to another ward? I'll go and check in the prep room. Why there? Well, he could be coming through the air vent. Sigma, did those robots cause you to remember something? The robots? The ones we saw when we were in manufacturing. You started acting so strange after we entered that room. I've made a few before, in the past. You made robots? Well, I mean, all I really made was the outer appearance and the AI. The frame was built somewhere else. Why did you make them? It's a long story. Let's just say that it was vital to the completion of my plan. No, maybe that's not quite true. It could have just been my cover, to tell the truth. I was simply lonely. I spent several decades of my life alone, in the middle of a desolate desert. I lived in a facility built deep underground, much like this shelter is. Sometimes an acquaintance stopped by, but that was it. No calls or even emails. It was a place of complete and utter quiet. No rain, no wind. Just a buzz that echoed in my ears constantly. Still, it wasn't as if I was all alone at the start. 
Someone was there to help me for a short while after I started living at the facility. A woman. She was very lovely, kind and gentle. Her name was, well, let's just call her Dee. Dee and I, we lived together for three years. We spent the time researching genetics and studying various subjects like quantum mechanics, cosmology, biochemistry, and artificial intelligence. But... the woman passed away. Why? The facility's environment was very particular. To be brief, it had weak gravity. As a result, an illness developed within her circulatory system. My grief overwhelmed me. Two, three years passed, and, and the pain was as fresh as ever. So that's why the robots... I recreated Dee's appearance as best I could. I made her thought patterns match as close as possible. I spent 25 years completing her. And of course, it was impossible to perfectly replicate everything about D. Still, she ended up pretty close. For a robot. I named her Luna. Luna was very devoted to me. I also found that I truly loved her. Not as a woman, but more like a daughter. Do you hate me? No, I'd never. I'm just really confused. <laughs> Join the club, pal. It took you 25 years to make that robot. Sigma, how old are you? I'm 67. No. You must be joking. Hey, Diana, Sigma, come here. Uh, I mean... What the Zero Escape games have always had an over-reliance on exposition. Uh, but it wasn't always the way in which story beats were delivered. But this game just, like, going hardcore, full steam ahead with overly lengthy exposition Ooh, sections. I've come up with a plan. A plan? And what is this plan? Would you bring out the map, Diana? What's beyond the decontamination room? The hall for the elevator. So that would mean... Wait, what? The, according to this map, the decontamination room isn't connected to anything. It's just It just hits a wall. If we open this door, we can get out of here? It, I, I... But how would we get it open? It's welded shut. Nothing less than a bomb would manage to dent it. Then... Let's use oh, this is a great plan. This is a this this is a what? phenomenal plan. Let's just use a bomb and boom, the door will be blown. This away. is a great plan with absolutely no possible negative consequences. This this has got to be like top tier planning skills from Phi over here. Yeah, this is what could possibly go wrong. If I remember right, we only need to set the timer and press the start button. Correct. Once the timer ends, the red and blue balls are released. When they both touch, that's when it explodes. Yeah. Okay. Get to it, Sigma. Huh? The two of us? We'll see you back in the lounge. W wait a second! You want me to carry it by myself? Men lift the heavy stuff. It's been the way of things since olden times. I'm the old one! But your body's 22. Right? Don't forget to be careful moving it, okay? I'm sorry, wouldn't you want Those as many- balls touch early? We're goners. Wouldn't you want as Diana many- Diana and I won't have a way out anymore. You're concerned- well, Okay, I'm pausing it. Wouldn't you want as many people as possible to lift that thing? Just to decrease the chances of it- of dropping it as much as possible? Because this is, this is a really dumb plan, what you've, what you've come up with right here. To use a- here, yeah, sure, let's just use a bomb to blow up the door. This is a great plan. It's, if you want to risk this, 
especially given your experience with bombs in Virtue's Last Reward, you'd think you wouldn't do this plan, but okay, fine, you're doing this plan. Wouldn't you want as many people to carry it as possible to decrease the chances of it dropping? No? Okay, sure. For me is touching. Okay. Let's go, Diana. Oh, um, okay. And yes, I get it, Sigma has robot arms or whatever, but it doesn't- it, Still, the more the merrier here. Real... <sighs> oh yeah, by the way, uh, Mira picked up the Radical Six virus in the last episode. She's absolutely gonna betray at least one, if not both, of her teammates by the end of this game. All set to go. Congratulations. Who the hell made you head honcho? Call me Boss Fi. When did you get so high and mighty? Since birth. <laughs> parents must have been real characters. Please, you two. More importantly, looks like the timer can only go up to 300 seconds. Five minutes, huh? Five minutes is plenty of time to get enough distance. How do you know? You don't know the radius of this thing. You have no idea what a safe distance is. None. Right. I'm gonna push the button now. You have absolutely no idea. Are you all ready? Yeah. Ready when you are. Okay, here we go. This is such a bad idea. Three, two, one. This is... I... I think this is far enough. You're one room over. How much time is left? I'd say four minutes, thirty sec... No, twenty seconds. Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. These three are now deceased. As a result, three X-passes will be revealed. Fire, crash, five... Did I... Oh. Uh, let's, uh, I was wondering why, because I, I assume these were X-Passes, but I'm like, why would I have wrote the, the same two down? But no, it's, that's, uh, that would explain my mistake. That is all. No. How? The execution. What? You forgot? Diana picked CT during the vote at 1330. Wait, what are you saying? Diana chose to vote for Q-Team. Isn't that right? What kind of nonsense are you trying to pull? Did you really believe that I wouldn't notice? Zero. What you're doing right now is considered a rule infraction. You are not allowed to leave by means other than the X door. That is one of the game rules. We never heard that rule before! As such, I decided I must break the rules as well. Q-Team is on the other side of the decontamination room at this moment. They lie unconscious from being injected with the anesthetic in their bracelets. Just so you know, the bomb you activated is really quite powerful. It's true that if it detonates, the door in the decontamination room will be blasted apart, just as you had planned. At the same time, that means the deaths of the oblivious, slumbering Q-Team. So, what will you do? Yeah, I was like, this was a terrible idea. You had no way of knowing how powerful this bomb was. Save q Or, leave them to die. And make your own escape. The choice is yours. Sure. Let's let's. Hey, guys, I got a great idea. What? Do you, where? Wait, Diana. What the? Um. Okay then. What the hell was that? I think it's liquid hydrogen fluoride or hydrofluoric acid. The hydrofluoric acid. It's a powerful acid that can even melt glass or metal. How do you know that? I know because I just do. It doesn't matter. It's definitely some kind of acidic liquid. There's no way we can get inside.
This is a protective suit. That go in if we put this on. Great. There's only one. That we, you only need one person. No, Diana. But if someone doesn't go in, Q team will. Then I'll go. No, I won't let you. Stop it. It doesn't matter who puts the damn suit on. Even if someone gets the suit on, we won't make it in time. What? Why? Come on. Let's get out of this. What? Why would you not make it in time? What? What? What are you saying, Sigma? In the time that you had this conversation, you could have put on the suit and ran into the room. What are you? What are you people doing? What? Okay. Run away, don't run. Don't. I'm assuming don't run is put on the suit and go stop the bomb, in which case we're doing this. Unless it literally means just stand still, which I, I strongly doubt. You, in the time you had this conversation, there's no. that You absolutely can put on that suit and go into the room and stop the bomb. I'm sorry about this, Sigma. I. Uh, let, let's hope the suit fits you and not him. Diana, you, Fi, I have a request. Take Sigma to the surface. What? I can't. So you're saying you can't? Wait, 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 wait. How? How? Then I have no choice. Wait. What are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. wait. What is happening here? Yes. Wait, 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 what the- This wasn't the plan! That was not the plan! The plan was, put on the suit, go into the room, stop the bomb, and fix your idiotic plan. Why did you need to- You didn't need to- That She was on board with your- Hey, you, maybe you shouldn't have wasted time diddling around by just t tasing your friends. Maybe that would have been a better idea. Idiot. If you were literally that close, then the time you spent twiddling around, I... What was that? Alright, fine. Th that option sucks. We're going back to do the other option. That was terrible. Holy hell. What idiot came up with that plan? Okay, the plan- we're doing that again. The plan we- wait, do we- oh well, wait, there's a float right here, right? Yeah, okay, we can just jump right back here. The- the, the plan was very, very simple. Okay, so he, the plan was, don't run, put on the suit, go into the room, stop the bomb. We're not listening to all this again. It was a very, very simple plan. But then you spent like a no, solid no, two no, minutes no. just twiddling around here, talking to each other, figuring out who's gonna put the suit on, and then you spent a at least a minute and a half tasing both Sigma and Phi, all of which could have been used to put on the suit and go into the room to stop the bomb. You idiots. What was this plan? Because th th my plan, by the way, would have worked. Don't run, stop the bomb. Would have worked. But these idiots are like, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's, let's just talk for a little while. So now we gotta run away. I mean, it's Q team, so, you know. It's a cute team, but still. Well, I could have saved everybody. If you would listen to my plan. Where's Sigma? What? He's still in there. Sigma! What? Sigma! What are you doing? Oh, sure. That logic, my friends. The option that results in... <sighs> you are presented with a choice. The choice is disarm the bomb or run away. Naturally... The choice that actually results in stopping the bomb is the one that's labeled run away. This, my friend, is what we call logic. Open this door! I have to do this. What do you mean? You would have tried to hold me back if I said I'd go. It's right? not a suicide mission to stop the bomb. Why? You have a protective anyway, suit. No time. You both need to get as far away It's as you not can. a suicide mission. What are you doing? Die. That's not it. It's just in case. In case of what? I will save everyone in Q-Team. Stop hanging around! Go stop the- Sigma! What are you doing? Sigma! What are these- 
Do you people realize there's a bomb in the other room that's about to blow up? You don't have time to be twiddling around. Oh, what are you people doing? Hey! <laughs> you know, maybe if you didn't spend another 90 seconds talking to your friends, maybe you could have gone in and stopped the bomb. Oh my god, no one thinks. What? What? No. No is correct. You did not survive that. You did not survive that. Sigma. Sigma, hang on. No, you did not survive that. Absolutely not. You absolutely did not survive that. You're dead. Oh my god. We we need to get him medical <laughs> attention. What medical attention? You're not going to save him. Nothing you can do can possibly save him. And you, but, but, nothing you can do could save him if you had necessary materials. Ooh, With the materials you have, absolutely not. You have no materials. None. It's okay. The shower's stopped. And the door's gone. We're getting out of here. Come on. Please, no! Damn it! Why? This child... You know, I feel like Diana and Fi were probably closer to that bomb than Q-Team was, but okay. Actually, wait, let me check that map. Where, uh, where do we access the map? Here's the map, okay. Uh, no, it'd be here. Right? Map, map, okay. So, you people, you people were right here. Here, Here's the bomb, here's you. Like maybe somewhere around here. You were way closer to that bomb than Q Team was, and yet you survived and they didn't. I, no. Hey, are you all right? Check for a pulse. What? Fi, where are the other? Like yes, I know. I just got done saying that she said that she that they should have survived. And yes, it makes sense. They shouldn't have that, that shouldn't have killed them. But if if you're gonna commit, she how did how did the others not? Um, okay, you know what? Actually, you know what? You know what? We're calling it now. We're calling it right now. I think I think I think we can connect two pieces together in my head. So what I said is Mira took the Radical 6 virus, and she is probably going to betray her teammates. I also said that it's pretty much impossible for them to have died here because they were way close, way further away than Fi and, and Diana were, and they're fine. So, what I think the odds are that the reason Mira is the only one alive right now is because she actually, especially also because of the the um uh the way in which like we saw a brief glimpse of Eric's body, and I'm guessing the way in which they died is probably because she injected him with the virus thing. So I'm gonna say that she definitely killed them both, and that's why they're dead, and she's not, and the and the bomb had nothing to do with it. Guarantee you, that's what happened here. They're all dead. No way in hell. So it, joining them soon. If you're gonna commit to the fact that only you told us, it was you, wasn't it? You set the bomb. Wait, you wait, 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 you. You knew about the bomb, and you still hang ar hung around close to where it was. In that case, you get as far away from that door as possible, and hide under something, and just hope that. Does no one think in this world? That's okay. You deserve something nice in return. <laughs> oh, never mind. She was saving it for these what? people. What did you just inject me with? Maybe you've heard of it. What? Wait. <laughs> Radical six. <laughs> yep. 
Yes, thanks, game. I remember that. Infected with the virus was to go outside. Then mankind. Yeah, thanks. I got it. What did you? Well, do you like it? My present to you. Wait! I... This... What? No... <laughs> what? Who knew this would happen? My body like this. Fi Jeff. You're not six. still alive, pal. Everything points to a single truth. What truth? It seems this history is the one that connects to that future. Well, I guess for Fi it would be the past. Diana, you must not use this lift. What are you saying? We need to get you to a hospital as soon as possible, or... Don't worry about me. No. The two of you need to get out of here. I am the only one who should stay. There's no point. The rescue team will eventually show up if Diana and I get to the surface. And you know, they'll come down and get you too. Then... kill me. Kill me and burn my remains. Now! Why? There's no other way. That's the only way to keep the virus from spreading. <sighs> Come on, hurry. Six billion lives are on the line. I... I can't... There's no way I can't do that! you're doing right yes i do i'm going to save you and bye This, I, I don't even, I don't even know where to begin with this. Hey, can you hear me? What's going on? This is Control, I repeat, this is Control. Please come in, I'm asking you to respond. This is Diana. Oh, thank God, you really had me worried there. What happened? Six of us are dead. Counting myself, there are only three left. How? Why are... They were killed. What? I... I guess you could say... I killed them. Well, it wasn't your no. fault. Five's the one who decided no, to put the bomb right. there. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Soon, I will have killed six billion people. That part's your fault. But the initial bomb plan was all Fi's idiocy. I suppose this was meant to be. Let's put our hope in the next Sigma. The me who will return here from the future. Uh, 
Oh, that's lovely. So is, wait, is that an official ending? Are we gonna get credits in a second? Because this sounds like credits music. Okay, well, that was... None of that made any sense. Alright, let's take it from the top. So we start off with Fi's idiotic plan to get out of here by putting a... <laughs> putting a very dangerous bomb next to the decontamination room door, which... She shouldn't have even known that that connected to the exit because the map didn't indicate that in the slightest. But... Uh, so she puts the... They carry the bomb there, they set it off, and then they're like, sure, I mean, we don't know the power of this thing, we don't know how much damage it's gonna do, it could literally bring the whole building collapsing down on top of us, it could kill us, it could kill everybody, it could not even open the door, who knows, this could be a terrible idea. Um, so then, after they commit to this terrible idea, uh, they decide that, or they don't decide, that Zero's like, alright, well, I'm just gonna put Q-Team on the other side of this door, so that... Uh, that your bomb kills them unless you stop it, but I'm but I'm gonna prevent you from stopping it by raining acidic acid, uh, 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 sorry, acidic acid down in that room. So then, then we get this really smart moment where they have to choose who's gonna go into the room to shut down the freaking um, shut down the bomb, and they spend 90 solid seconds trying to figure this out until eventually they just give up and say, all right. So, we have to decide, either we don't run away and we shut down the bomb, or we run away and we let it kill everybody. So if you choose to- if you choose not to run away, then you spend 90 seconds tasing both Sigma and Phi, both of whom were in support of the plan to shut down the bomb in the first place, so that you can put on the suit yourself, only to find out that if you hadn't wasted that time, then you would have had enough time to shut down the bomb, because you were literally seconds away from saving everybody. Then, if you choose to run away, Sigma locks you both out of the room and sends a, spends a solid 90 seconds saying, Don't worry, you'll be safe, get out of here, I'll shut down the bomb. What, what he should have been doing was going to shut down the bomb, because what do you know, it blew up again, causing him to get something lodged in his eye and lose both of his arms, which I guess ties into VLR, whatever. So then he somehow survives despite being literally centimeters away from the goddamn bomb. Uh, so, then the bomb somehow... They, then, then they go through the room to the elevator, where they believe that the bomb killed everybody there, which doesn't make any sense, because if Sigma survived and he was centimeters away from it, it definitely shouldn't have killed the people in there. But then, okay, so the justification is, okay, so then, so then the justification is, okay, so maybe Mira killed them both, because as I theorized, she took the Radio 6 virus to kill them both, so that she could get more X passes to escape or whatever. Um, until you realize that she only took one vial of that, and she saved it, be and, and she saved it for use against Phi, because she knew, that Q-Team knew, that the bomb was being placed on the other side of the door, so they chose not to hide under anything, they didn't, they chose not to take shelter, not to get as far away from the door as possible, they just stood around like, yep, well, I guess we're gonna die then. So, which doesn't make any sense, because if, if Sigma survived, then they shouldn't have survived, so then she saves this, the virus to use against, to use on Phi, to keep her from leaving, because if she leaves it, it'll doom the rest of the species, so then Diana's like, hey, don't worry, I'll save you both, so she takes the elevator up to the surface, and then once she gets up there, she's like, well, guess I screwed up then, everyone's gonna die now, which means she just killed, she just doomed the, the whole, uh, that, the, all of humanity to death by the Radical Six virus, and it, I'm sorry, but none of that makes any sense at all! I... Oh... Oh my god. That was really bad. That was really, really bad, actually. Like, that might be the most consistent string of nonsense I think we've ever seen in this, in this series so far. That was a whole other level of bad. Like, oh my god. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I know, obviously, I just broke it all down, but good god. Oh. Also, I, I don't even... Also, so Mira survived... One more thing. Mira apparently was the only member of Q Team who survived the blast, despite being the one closest to the door. Um, and she held out just long enough for to give Phi the virus. I, just, I don't even... Man, that was bad. That was, um... That was pretty bad. The escape room was fun... But it was also brain dead easy, and I just I don't know I, I mean <laughs> that was that was something all right. Okay, I think I think what I think what we need to do 
just to, to, to make up for that atrocity. D end one, a rabbit in my future. Okay, great. We, we, we got another ending, ladies and gentlemen. Outbreak, all sections cleared. Great. We, we done diddly did everybody. We got, we got ourselves another ending. Okay. So, I think what needs to happen now is we need to go, we, we, we need to, um, we, we need to make D team pay for what they've just done here. So, what we're gonna do next episode is we're gonna go, um, how do, how do, what do we need to, I think we just need to do Q team and C team. What we're gonna do is I might actually do this off camera. No, I won't, because it'll, it'll show something different. Uh, I guess not for you, because this one will be the same. I'm gonna go back into, uh, this one, right? I think this is the execution. We're gonna go back into the execution fragment. Uh, and I'm gonna choose to vote for D team. I, this, this will be pointless, because we've already done this, but I just wanna see what happens. Because D team has to pay for what they've done here. They just single-handedly killed everybody and doomed the whole race, the whole human race to death by the radical sex virus, so... D team's got to pay, so we're gonna have Q team vote for D team, and then we're gonna have C team vote for D team, just to, just to one, so that I mean it'll it'll show us new things anyway, because obviously this was the route in which C team dead and uh, these two survive. So now we'll see what happens when D team dies and these two survive. It'll be a new exciting adventure. But that'll be it for now. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more Zero Escape Zero Time Dilemma. Goodbye.